Hi, I'm Daniel from Ratings.com. Today, we're testing the LG UK6300. It's a budget IPS TV with very low input lag, but also a low native contrast ratio, so blacks appear gray in a dark room. It also has an alternative RGBW pixel structure, which we'll go over later. We bought the 43-inch model to test, but it's also available in larger sizes. We expect these larger sizes to have very similar performance, but bigger TVs tend to have more uniformity issues. First, we'll look at the design of the TV, and then we'll move on to the picture quality. We'll also look at the motion handling and input lag, and then compare to other competing models which are currently available. The UK6300 has a basic but functional design. The borders, back, and legs are all made of plastic and do feel quite cheap, but shouldn't present any issues with normal use. The stand is almost as wide as the TV, so it does require a large table, but it also feels quite stable. There are inputs to connect devices on both the rear and side of the TV. These rear inputs may be difficult to access if the TV is placed close to a wall. When viewed from the side, the TV does appear quite thick, so it will stick out from the wall a bit. If we take a thermal picture of the TV, we can see the location of the LEDs along the bottom edge, which give out most of the heat. Now we'll move on to the picture quality. We'll be comparing to TVs which are currently available, but this will change as more competing TVs are released throughout the year. For an updated comparison with new models as we buy and test them, see our review page on the website, which is linked below. The UK6300 has an IPS panel with a low native contrast ratio, so blacks appear gray when viewed in a dark room. This isn't noticeable in a bright room though, due to the ambient light. For a dark room, a VA TV such as the Samsung NU7100 or the TCL S405 is a better choice. Like most other budget TVs, the UK6300 doesn't support a local dimming feature. This means it can't dim areas of the backlight, which is otherwise useful to produce deeper dark scenes. When viewed at an angle, the image remains fairly accurate. Although the TV still loses some brightness and the colors do shift, it isn't as much as other VA TVs, such as the TCL S405 or the Samsung NU7100. This means the UK6300 is a good choice for a room with wide seating. Like other budget TVs, the UK6300 has a semi-gloss finish. This helps to diffuse reflections and reduce their intensity, but also smears them across the screen. The UK6300 has a mediocre peak brightness. It is especially limited in the accurate expert picture mode at about 220 nits. For an average room, this is fine, but in a bright room, the TV may not be bright enough to overcome glare. If you don't care about image accuracy, then it's possible to use one of the brighter picture modes, such as standard or vivid. In HDR, the peak brightness is also limited and the TV can't produce bright highlights to make HDR content stand out. For better HDR peak brightness performance, the TCL 6 series is a better choice. The gray uniformity of the UK6300 is decent. There aren't significant issues near the center, which is good for watching sports as the dirty screen effect is limited. The edges of the TV are noticeably dimmer though. This is also typical of most budget LCD TVs with edge lighting. Although the UK6300 supports the HDR10 format, it can't produce a wide color gamut. As a result, HDR content doesn't look more vivid than SDR. This is typical of budget TVs. The UK6300 has an alternative pixel structure. While most TVs have a red, green, and blue subpixel within each pixel, the UK6300 has half of the pixels with the typical red, green, and blue subpixel, and half of them with only a white subpixel. This is commonly referred to as the RGBW structure. This means the TV has a lower color resolution, as it has fewer subpixels than a typical 4K TV. It isn't noticeable in most content, but when viewed from up close, and especially with PC use, text can appear jagged. The response time of the UK6300 is fast, so only a short blur trail can be seen behind fast-moving content. This is good for watching fast-moving content such as sports or gaming. Duplications of our logo are visible due to the flicker of the backlight. 
The UK 6300 has an extraordinarily low input lag, so it feels very responsive when gaming or used as a PC monitor. At about 11 and a half milliseconds, this is the lowest 60 Hz input lag of any TV we've tested. We can see how it compares to the competition by looking at a distribution of the input lag results on our current test bench. Like other LG TVs, the smart platform is intuitive and easy to use. It has a wide selection of apps, including apps for Netflix, Amazon Video, and YouTube. This TV only comes with a basic remote, but it is possible to buy a more advanced remote which has a pointer. So overall, the UK 6300 is a basic TV with decent picture quality. It is best suited to a room with wide seating and for gaming due to the exceptionally low input lag. For other uses though, some of these TVs may be better picks. The Samsung NU7100 is a 2018 model with a VA panel. It is better suited to a dark room with seating directly in front as it can produce deep dark scenes but the image degrades when viewed at an angle. For a wide living room, the UK 6300 is a better choice, but otherwise, go with the NU7100. Like the Samsung, the TCL S405 is another budget model, which is better suited to a dark room with seating directly in front. It can produce deep and uniform dark scenes, but the image loses accuracy when viewed at an angle. For a bright room with wide seating, go with the UK 6300, but otherwise, the TCL is a better pick. The Sony X720e also has an IPS panel with similar picture quality. It is a bit better overall though, as it has a true 4K panel with a normal RGB pixel structure and can get brighter to overcome glare. If you can afford it, then the Sony is a better choice. The TCL 6 series offers excellent value for money for those who are on a budget but still want to benefit from HDR. It is also great for gamers due to the low input lag and fast response time. Like these other VA TVs, the image loses accuracy when viewed at an angle, so it isn't the best pick for those with wide seating. So that's it. You can check out all of the measurements on our website. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel or become a contributor. Thank you for watching and see you next time.